Christopher Ward really did have an awesome 2022 and it looks like this year they're really starting out the blocks with some amazing models that have come through already so far this year. But now, this week, we are getting the chance to review the new June. This literally arrived this morning, the new bronze case one. Typically, I like to keep my reviews for about a week and wear them but I know that this is a new watch that a lot of people are very interested in seeing. And then stick around till the end and I'll give you my opinion on what I think of this watch. The Dune is a new line for Christopher Ward. They're coming in with a 38 millimeter case and they've got that classic field watch look to them. Even though the watches look similar, I would argue to the Sealander, the dials are completely different. They've got applied indices, the circles and the triangles. The date is at six o'clock as well. And the date window almost tapers up to the top, which I think looks incredible. This particular model is the bronze version as we can see here. And it's a really nice coppery bronze. It's not like the Tudor bronze they use where it's a bronze alloy and it patinas over time. As you can see from these images, this watch is brand new, but it's already started to oxidize or patina, even in the package on the way to me here. So this certainly will change color and change color quite rapidly. So if you like that patinaed look of bronze, then you're certainly not gonna be disappointed here. The bronze bracelet is also really cool because you don't often see these. I think there's only one or two other brands that have done them. I think maybe Zelos and Panerai have done bronze bracelets, but this is very well finished as you would expect from Christopher Ward. It's got their new screw in link system and their amazing clasp with that diver's extension. The inside of the clasp is still stainless steel, but it does have that glide block system that you as allows you to expand or contract the clasp based on where or should I say like the glide lock system because I think that might be a Rolex trademark the bronze bracelet does add a little bit of extra money to this I think it's around an extra $400 it adds but as you don't often see them and I imagine the machining of these is a bit more complicated I imagine that's where the extra cost is coming from but if you like the look of this and you like the look of the bronze bracelet you certainly won't be disappointed with upgrading to the bronze bracelet that I can assure you. It also has Christopher Ward's quick release system as well. And with that 20 mil lug width, you can also put it on a whole host of other straps as well. This would look awesome on a Tropic strap, I think, or maybe a nice brown leather to complement the case itself. The case uses Christopher Ward's light catcher case. So similar to ones we've seen on the Sealander, although this case is slightly narrower at 38 millimeters. Christopher Ward always used to be known for their larger watches. In recent times, during the course of last year and the previous year, there's now a whole host of watches ranging from 36 millimeters right up to the more traditional 42 larger sizes that they used to do. And this one being 38 millimeters, I think will fit most wrists very well. I have a 7.2 inch wrist and the lug to lug on here is a 43.6, so it spans my wrist nicely. It is slightly smaller than what I would typically wear. For this style of watch, I do like more of a 40 to 41 size. I have a Rolex date just that is 41 and I think it's the perfect size for me. And it is, it's not small, it's not 36 small. It's sort of in between slightly smaller than the Sealander. Dial on here is awesome. The blue, marine blue, I believe they're calling it dial. Real dark blue, really inviting you to look at it. They've done an amazing job of this dial. It has almost a subtle, I'm reluctant to say sunburst because it's so subtle, but it does have a maybe a, a slight radial look to it, but it's so smooth. And I imagine the green as well, which I would be really interested in seeing, really make those indices pop and the bronze color of the hands. The last bronze Christopher Ward that we reviewed, the hands were brushed, whereas these are very polished and I prefer this polished look a lot better. We also have the new Christopher Ward logo. It was printed previously, it's now embossed on there and it's embossed in a similar hue of bronze or a, or a coloring to make it look like bronze. I think the dial on here is an absolute knockout. They've done an incredible job of this. Christopher Ward's dial design has always been some of my favorites. The simplicity of their design, but executed to a high standard, makes these watches feel many multiples the price that they actually currently sell for them. And I'm reluctant to, I used to refer to Christopher Ward as 
good value and I'm reluctant to use that term anymore because they are excellent for the money but they're not a value brand. This is a lot of watch for your money. Their overall fit and finish of the case, it has that light catcher case. It's predominantly brushed the case to complement the bracelet, but there is some high polishing areas, but those will patina over time and probably dull up a little bit with it being bronze. The crown is really nicely sized. One of my favorite things as well about Christopher Ward watches is just know how nicely in proportion their crowns are. I'm surprised how much I like this bronze watch because I don't traditionally gravitate towards bronze watches. I am usually really like the Christopher Ward watches that were sent, but there has been a few that I've not been totally blown away with and the last one and one that I didn't really like was their previous bronze Sealander model which had this sapphire dial. Uh, it turned the dial almost mirror-like in the sun but the way that they've done this bronze, this really does appeal to me. It's a departure from that bronze, as I said, the hands are polished and uh, as opposed to brushed. And the dial is complemented by a gorgeous domed, I would say almost slightly top hat type sapphire crystal. The movement in here, as is a ongoing theme now with Christopher Ward with their bronze watches is, is measured to cost. So that means anybody's not familiar, that means it goes through a special measurement process to make sure that it's within certain tolerances based on temperature and also the position that the watch is in. And there's some other factors as well. You can actually look it up online. Very interesting to work out how they measure these watches. But what that means for you buying this is that it already has been measured to be accurate and the accuracy is minus four plus six seconds a day. So a real quick review here for us, but I knew you guys wanted to see this as it was only released last week. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm a fan. I said I'd let you know my opinion at the end, and I am a fan of this, I have to say, even though it's slightly smaller than the watches that I would typically go for. If you enjoyed the review, I'd love it if you subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, hit that thumbs up and the bell notification. And if you really liked it, you can use the new super thanks feature as well. Any donations there are gratefully received and they'll go right back into improving the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Casual Watch Reviews.